Hi, my name is Howard Lida. I work for Valve Wine. Today, I'd like to help you oxygenate your first wine. First thing you need to know is you need to pour a little bit of wine out before you oxygenate, and this provides two benefits for you. The first one, it allows you to actually compare and contrast to find out uh, what the oxygenator did for your wine, and it also makes sure that it doesn't accidentally bubble over. I'd hate to have a red wine actually stain a white tablecloth in your house. Next thing is very simple. You take your smartphone, set your timer for three minutes. I'm going to get it started. And then you turn your device on, place it into the valve. And as you can see, this one is oxygenating. Uh, typically, I would run this for three minutes. Uh, after it was done, I would uh, then turn it off, remove it, pour a glass of wine, and then compare and contrast. So we recommend, because uh, sometimes, particularly with the red wine, the tannins can be so overwhelming, it can mask everything that you're tasting in the wine. So we recommend you actually start with uh, the velvet wine first, taste it, and then follow up and smell and taste your control wine. You should see a significant difference between the two wines. What Bell does with the pure oxygen is it opens the expressive aromas. It uh, reveals the full flavors of your wine. And then finally, particularly with red wines, it softens out the tannins and makes it easier to drink your wine. Cheers.